I am currently on a mission to build the GameCube collection of my childhood dreams. I'm on this quest because as a kid, I never had a GameCube. That's right, this little Caleb right here only ever even knew about Smash Bros. Melee and Strikers and Sonic Adventure by going to his friends' houses and playing their GameCubes. Which is why, as a full-grown man, I made this list of 75 GameCube games that I wanted to own to fulfill my childhood GameCube dreams. And the crazy thing is, 22 episodes into this series, we're actually getting incredibly close. We only have eight games left on the list including Disney Sports Skateboarding, Disney Extreme Skate Sport Adventure, Metabots Infinity, Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, Samurai Jack, Hulk Ultimate Destruction, Tom and Jerry, and Turok Evolution. So today I'm heading out with my part-time employee Spencer. Yo. And we're going to scour the city of Lexington. Scouring. In search of those eight games, or at least of some games that we don't already have on the GameCube shelf. But if you guys have been following the series, you know that we can't just walk into a video game store with cash. That'd be far too easy. So we're here at Dan's Discount. The only cash that we're allowed to use to buy GameCube games today is expected profit from stuff that we find to flip at pawn shops like these or at the video game stores we go to. So let's head in here. It's See what we can find. Alright, so here we are at the good old video game section, checking it out. PS4 and Xbox One stuff are two for 15, which is actually a really solid deal here. So if we can find anything that is maybe Devil May Cry, I can't actually remember a lot of these. I'll have to double check on Amazon. And then the older stuff is also fairly cheap, but I'm not really seeing anything jump out at me at this location. I cannot believe I almost missed this. This is insane. Look at this. Some of you guys probably already saw it. Oh my gosh. This is absolutely insane. You see that after these price right there? We're going to pay $7 for this game. That is, that you do not find this game. This, what an absolute gem. All right, folks. So I did go ahead and look this guy up and this will be a good one to pair with Fortnite for the $15 bundle deal. Because you can see here, $12 after fees is not too bad if we're paying $7.50. All right, folks, here's another little find that we spotted in the case down here. You might think 15 for a PS3 camera is pretty high, and it is kind of high, but the thing is, they sell really well on Amazon, and I guarantee they they will sell me that for $10. I, I would bet a lot of money. Gambling addiction has affected many. All right, folks, so he brought the DS stuff out for us. These are, looks like pretty much all cheap kind of kids games. Monkey Ball you would think is decent, but it's really not. Oh my gosh, folks. We just had an absolutely insane first stop. Spanky, you want to break it down for him? Uh, well, there was Fortnite. No, no, no. You got to show him. You got to show him. <laughs> uh, well, just take my word for it. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy and the beautiful and infamous Fortnite. Look Crazy find. Absolutely insane. And that wasn't even all we got. DS XL. It's a nice looking burgundy thing. So yeah, wow. we went ahead and tested gamer. that out. It doesn't have the original charger, but we got a different charger for it. 50 bucks on that. Should be able to get at least 80 after fees on Amazon. So that's a great score. And nice camera for $10, I believe. 10 bucks did end up negotiating on that and guess what they gave it to us for 10 which puts us at an insane gamecube budget after the first stop of a hundred and ten dollars it was too easy in expected profit that just that fortnite is still blowing my mind i've literally never found that game at a pawn shop before that's crazy hey right, folks pawn shop number two cash america here the most expensive game remaining on our gamecube list is i think between 250 and 300 dollars so if we get to that kind of a budget range that's really all we need i guess unless we want to do multiple games but let's get in here and see what we can find all right so here is the good old glass case folks what are you seeing in here anything interesting all right folks so didn't come away with anything from stop number two leaving us still with a budget of 110 dollars but here we are at stop number three gonna see if we can bump that up a little bit before heading to the game stores here we are in the Cheaper game section, I'm not really seeing anything that looks profitable. We got a lot of like older sports games. Ooh, so that is something you definitely don't see every day. OLED Switch for 400. I don't know if they'll actually get that above market price for it, but original box and everything. A decent selection of games and everything. Uh, I don't know exactly what prices they have. Look at that. 
all those PS5 games. That's kind of crazy to see. Ooh, there actually is some solid potential with that guy right there. I'm definitely gonna ask about that. So looking at the 75% off clearance table, this might be one of the weirdest things I've ever considered buying. <laughs> All right, folks, that was another absolutely insane stop. Came away, I don't know if I showed this at all, but with the PlayStation mm. 4 Days of Play Edition bundle, it had the original controller and everything with it. Paid $250 for this. And check out the Amazon listing. Can you read that on there? Yeah. Over $400 for this thing after fees, and that's the lowest listing on the platform. So a smoking $150 profit on just this item. Then we also snagged a clean looking 3DS XL for $80. We'll get like $150 for this thing after fees because it's in such great condition. So we're looking at $230 extra dollars in the GameCube fund from just those two items, which is crazy. And then we just happened to see on the mega clearance table. This isn't something that I'm gonna count because I don't actually know how much this is gonna sell for. This scan grip UV curing UV gun. This thing, you literally dry your wall, your, the paint <laughs> on your wall with this gun. And let me get back in the car and show you guys what the last one sold for. Point it kind of this way. Folks, check this out. Only one sold which is a little bit of a yellow flag, but look at this, $1,200 in brand new condition. We did test that one out, it's used, but the way I see it, like even if I undercut and I go for like $600, we paid less than a hundred bucks for that thing. Absolutely crazy. I don't know, I'm not gonna count that towards the challenge because I've never flipped something like that before. I have no idea like how fast it's going to sell, what it's going to sell for, but I figured for a hundred bucks, totally worth the risk. If you're not convinced already on this channel that opportunity is everywhere, folks, I don't, I don't know what else I can say there was literally a trombone on the table that was sitting there for 75 percent off you could have gotten it for less than 200 dollars i was just telling spanky dude we could take this to a music shop in town <laughs> let's get to a video game store so now with our massive 340 dollar gamecube budget spanky and i are heading in like kings to good old game exchange to find some games So we have arrived at our beloved GameCube section here. Unfortunately, I found it doesn't see a whole lot of turnover, but we'll, uh, we'll see if we can find any gems here. Actually, look at that Wave Race Blue Storm. I'm pretty sure this is one that we don't actually have, but I had this. I had this as a kid on the N64, so for 15 bucks, a complete copy, this is definitely one that I'm interested in picking up. And unfortunately, the glass case GameCube section looking equally sparse. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six GameCube games in here, and I believe I do have all of them. Plot myself down in front of the higher end case over here and had something catch my eye. This Monster Rancher 4, according to Amazon prices for 100 bucks, is actually a solid deal, so if that's complete, probably go ahead and pick that one up. All right, folks, I think it's about high time for a good old Editor Riff voiceover, don't you? So, Riff, this is your cue. Hokily dokily, my little money manipulators. It is me, your boy, Caleb Master Money Man. Today, I picked up this game on the PlayStation 4, Hydro Thunder. Next, I got this bright green N64 controller. Look at that price tag. I can make so much money on this probably more than any of you because I have FBA Amazon. Second of all, oh god, that feels good. In reality, I didn't buy this for any other reason than I could say I potentially might play it. We know I won't. All right, you guys, back to the video. Moving on. All right, folks, so we failed at the first game exchange to find any games on our actual list, but we did get the wave race. We're going to try our luck at this second game exchange. See if maybe, by some crazy chance, they have one of those eight games. You gotta be kidding me, it was on the shelf for five seconds! <laughs> he's back, he's back! I'm back! So folks, we've got the illustrious Neil helping us out with some GameCube again. Hey y'all, what's up? If you do your band. Do you have any any other GameCube stuff here that I should be aware of? Oh wait, here it is. 
Uh, oh, we have, we check have that out. Yeah, that's a nice and one And this sure. is actually a game that I brought in. It's not in the best state, but we do have Sonic Adventure 2. Okay. Man, if I didn't already have Pokemon XD, I would totally pull the trigger on this guy. <laughs> well, I'm um, gonna take a look over here. Do you have any of the ones that you know you do have in stock? Do you have any recommendations for me? Um, um... Because you've got actually some... Some pretty heavy hitters out here, Pokemon Coliseum. See, uh, wait, hold that, that was out there. <laughs> yeah. I would, I would yeah. think that would be in the glass case. Well, I would too. I mean, if the disc's not in there or anything, Paper Mario. That's how. What, who put these out there? Those I don't know. Do you want them? I, I, they should, <laughs> yes, they should be in the glass case, not out here just like sitting on the shelf to be missed. <laughs> oh, good lord. And fully? Uh, don't. Don't, don't do this one? Nope. Okay. Listen, I swear, look, I, 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 made an I, I, I have made an exception from Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> if you get that game, you are banned! <laughs> uh, uh, he said it! He said it! Guys, he said the thing. He said the thing. <laughs> I said the thing. Are you all happy now? <laughs> So folks, not only are we going to be banned if we buy Ant Bully, <laughs> but unfortunately, as I'm looking at the rest of these guys on the shelf here, there just is not anything that is really interesting to me at all. So <laughs> looks like this stop is probably going to be another goose egg for us. How do you feel about that, Spencer? I think we should get Ant Bully. <laughs> we probably should. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this up there and we'll see what he says. <laughs> This is really cool. I appreciate this, Neil. Yeah, of course, man. Let's hope you need anything else. Thanks. So looking through the tees right now, trying to find Tom and Jerry or Tarok, but I don't think I'm not seeing them. But Mario Sunshine for that is not bad. So SSX on tour, that's not a bad deal. Spider-Man, SpongeBob. Those are both pretty solid deals, I'd say. Star Fox, so yeah, definitely some like good games in here, just not, not anything we happen to need. All right, so just went through some of their complete in-box DS stuff. You can see some of the stacks over there. They've got some really solid, really solid selection of complete stuff. I ended up finding some Pokemon games, including Black 2 for 90, Diamond for 25, and Regular Black for 60. So we're gonna go ahead and add those to the stack with some of the disc-only games that uh, we found just leafing through the case randomly, SSX, Gale of Darkness, disc only, which, you know, obviously none of these are for the collection, but there's some solid, solid numbers on them. <laughs> Should we throw this on the stack, Neil? <laughs> I swear to God, why do you do this I mostly, to me? I mostly just wanted to get your reaction to me throwing this on here. <laughs> oh, Neil's favorite. <laughs> Oh, Can you yeah. find me the disc for that? I hate to make you do that. Look for this disc for Ant Boy. Why would you do this to me? That's right at the front too. So, folks, at the end of the day, even though we didn't manage to get any of those eight games that are still on our list at this stop, we did get a solid number of Pokemon. I mean, it's hard to consider this a loss, right? Like a good number of GameCube and Pokemon games to flip, and a good old iconic Ant Bully, the banned Ant Bully. <laughs> Uh, that is going to go in the GameCube collection on the shelf. I don't think that we have this one. If we do, I'm gonna replace this one with it with the good old $4 sticker as a memento of this experience. And right now we're going to go to one last place that I normally never go because it's kind of overpriced, but their selection's really good. It's in the mall as a final attempt to maybe get one of these eight games. Let's head there now. Isn't it just such an ironic tragedy, Spencer, that we've got literally $300 to spend in GameCube money and we can't even find a place to spend it? We'll have to go to this boutique shoe store if we can't find a GameCube game. Oh, okay, that's a decent plan B, I guess. <laughs> and here it is, folks, the final stop of the day, CM Games. The prices aren't the best, but the selection is pretty amazing. So if we'll find something anywhere, it will probably be here. <laughs> All right, folks, so here we are. We have arrived 
at the GameCube section. Obviously you can see they do uh, like reproduction art for the stuff that they don't have cases for, which is honestly kind of nice. They do have a decent number of like actual complete inbox titles. I'm just not seeing anything. Here's Wave Race, which we got already. Oh dang, would have paid 28 here, yikes. But we got Sonic. You can see what I meant about the selection. Like they've got a lot of really solid titles here. I'm just so far not really seeing anything that I still need on the list. Oh, it looks like they do have some higher-end games down here. Actually, not just GameCube, but kind of an eclectic mix. Oh, a couple more in there. We got a couple Mario parties in the back. Not the kind of games that I need. We've had those checked off for a while, but oh, check this out. We've got a whole row of higher-end games over here. Most of those games I do have as well, but look at that. You guys see that? Skies of Arcadia Legends. It looks like it has the original case and everything. That's one that I actually, it's not on the list, but so many of you guys have told me that I need to put it on the list. So if we can't come away with anything that's actually on our list here, I feel like that might actually be a really solid sleeper pickup. And believe it or not, it's looking like at a price of 197, it actually is pretty much in line with what it's selling for on eBay, which does, it just makes me feel a little bit better about it. But you guys can definitely see when you do have higher prices, it allows you to have a selection that is just really impressive. I mean, I'm like, you genuinely do not see this kind of a selection a lot at video game stores. Good news, Spencer. We do not have to go blow all of our money in the expensive sneaker store because we got a couple of GameCube gems. Let me go, uh, let's get through, get through dicks here and I'll break it down for you guys. <laughs> Well, folks, unfortunately, after a whole day of game hunting, we were not able to come away with any of the eight games that are remaining on our GameCube list. But despite that, I can't bring myself to feel at all disappointed about this day. I mean, for goodness sake, I had a blast with Spencer all day, picked up this absolutely sweet limited edition console, absolutely cracked up with Neil at Game Exchange, bought my first ever heat gun for what may be a huge profit, and still came away with multiple new games for the collection, including one that was very highly recommended by you guys, and another one that I just thought looked super cool and I had never seen this variant before. And what really got me about this one, folks, is that inside the copy is sealed. So folks, I don't know about you, but I would call this day a total game hunting win. Let's get these games on the shelf. guys enjoyed watching this day of game hunting, I'm going to go ahead and link one of my early videos of pawn shop hunting right down here for your viewing pleasure. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you all on the flip.